Welcome to Equity Levers Finance Lab. Uh, this lab is focused on giving valuation ratios and valuation multiples for historic uh, result dates, quarterly as well as annual. And uh, this video we will try to make try to make a point that you could have figured out why uh, there was a sudden spurt in the share price of Apollo Hospitals from by looking at past numbers alone. Uh, so now let's move forward. So I, uh, three data charts uh, up front. One is that the share price moved up after 2020 June and dramatically so. It's almost a 3x increase since uh, June 2020. Uh, EPS is uh, has not shown a marked increase. This is trailing 12 month numbers. Uh, it is in the same range as it was in the 2016. It's gone up marginally though. The P ratio has contributed all the increase in the share price from about 44 levels to 135 now. Now let's understand that uh, why uh, despite being uh, in, in 2019-06 the P was 80 times and uh, which, which had already gone up quite sharply. Then from there it has further increased, increasing the share price. Why can we spot it in the financials? Once again, just to show, this is the share price increase, quarterly increase. This is the EPS, which is flattish. Uh, now coming to, let's take the TTM, which is much more clear to explain. So uh, once again, the, P, uh, the price chart, sharp increase here. However, if you notice, the sales is very strongly up. Uh, disregard the last line because it is the latest number. It's repeated. So 2021-06, it shows a very good, strong increase. The EBITDA is also showing a strong increase over the same period, just like price. However, the net profit is marginal. So the clue in understanding the increase in share price lies in what is happening between EBITDA and net profit. So how can you spot that? You can spot that by going into growth and margin. Here, what it is showing is that the trailing 12 months uh, TTM numbers is clearly showing that it used to have a 9% maximum peak bat margin uh, and which declined to negative territory in 2020-06. And then it is starting to bounce back. Right. Why is that happening? It is happening because the depreciation is falling and the interest rate, interest cost is falling. Because of that, there is more throughput beginning to show up. So why was the depreciation high? Because the con company continued to in invest and the net block grew. Now the net block is getting depreciated. It's, there is no further increase. So till this period, there was a sharp increase. Because of that, there was a impact on the uh, the PPT was much lower. So, so what are we saying? We are saying that you could have seen this. That uh, let me go to the growth and valuation chart. So here, if you see the pat margin is beginning to uh, let's look at the trailing twelve months is beginning to go up. Uh, go from nine percent, it went down to zero, and now back up at four. So it is not hard for us to assume that the post capex period in one or two years from now, this eight, nine percent pat margin will come up. Uh, if you notice the sales growth over 12 uh, last 10 years, it's consistently double digits, except during the COVID period, except most of the time it is 12 percent, 15 percent, 18 percent, 20 percent. So there is no problem in the company being able to sell. They've invested heavily. They have the infrastructure. India is very conducive for hospital uh, services. So the sales growth can be projected safely. So if you look at the p &L account, it shows a sales trailing 12 month sales of 12,000 cro 12,149 crores right now. Now, if you compound that at 15%, in two years time, this number will look like 16,000 crores. And if you apply a margin of say 9% pat margin on this, it will show that the uh, the uh, the trailing 12 month uh, net profit would have gone up by a factor of three 
almost 1300 crores will be the potential number at 9% and a 15% growth. Now, this was evident as soon as the depreciation started to come off, the interest uh, started to reduce. It, it is quite clearly visible in the in the last three quarters, there is a sharp fall beginning to show up and the company is also not investing more. That was also clearly visible. So, but just by looking at this, you could have, you could, you, you could safely say at prices around 2000, 3000, 3500, it was very attractive. Uh, and, and probably the forward multiple at 3000 levels would have been less than 40 times. Uh, now, of course, the forward is also looking very high at 52 times. So let's look, put the numbers in a, in a context. The business outlook is very strong, but there is long runway for growth. Uh, Finance lower capex, debt pay down and lower depreciation, sales at the at sixteen thousand crores. We just computed it at fifteen percent CAGR over the next two years. Pat margin at eight percent. It translates to thirteen hundred crores. Now the pat margin increases to nine, which is its peak, and it will be fifteen hundred crores. So based on current price, it is fifty two times. Now if you were to take make the same computation. At, uh, at the price when it was 3000, then it would be very attractive for investors. And that is why the strong jump in share price. Good day.